Okay, since there was um, a question about springs um, in the homework, I thought I'd give you a couple of other, other spring things to think about. Um, so the first spring situation I want you to think about is um, two trolleys which are going to collide with each other and bounce off, the, off each other uh, because one of them's got a spring in it. So if I show you what I mean... There we go. Okay, so one of the trolleys has a spring in, they collide and bounce off. Now, um, if we assume that that spring is perfect and the collision is totally elastic, perfectly elastic, uh, then I want you to think about, so here's the situation, we've got two trolleys moving towards each other uh, and the collision is perfectly elastic. I want you to think how much energy is stored in that spring when the spring is at its greatest compression. So when the spring is most compressed, how much energy is stored in it? Well, I'll take five minutes, try and work it out, and then we'll come back to it and see what you think. Okay, well, let's have a think about this. In this situation, we can work out the total kinetic energy before uh, they collide, um, just by adding up the kinetic energy of this one and this one. And if we do that, the kinetic energy before is going to be half times the mass of the first one times the velocity of the first one squared, and then exactly the same thing for the second one because they're identical. So if you add those up together, I think it adds up to half a joule of kinetic energy. That's the energy before the collision. Now, we're saying the collision is perfectly elastic. So after the collision, they're also going to have a total kinetic energy of half a joule. But... In this collision, uh, these two trolleys are identical and they're moving towards each other uh, with the same speed. So as they come together and the spring touches and they collide, they're both going to slow down and briefly come to a stop before the spring then pushes them apart. Okay? So there's going to be a brief moment where there is zero kinetic energy. Now because all of that kinetic energy comes back at the end, all of that kinetic energy must have been stored up in the spring. None of that had disappeared off to heat or sound or anything like that. Uh, so, the energy stored in the spring in this situation, the maximum energy stored in the spring, is half a joule. Because that's when the half a joule of kinetic energy, in total from these two trolleys, uh, has all been stored up uh, as elastic potential energy when the spring is maximally compressed and they've both just for an instant stopped moving. And then as they start to push apart, that elastic potential energy uh, gets transferred back to kinetic. So that's the first uh, problem I wanted you to think about. Uh, right, so the second situation I want you to think about is another elastic collision between two trolleys, perfectly elastic. This time one of the trolleys is stationary. Uh, they both have the same mass. So one trolley collides with the other trolley. I'll do it again the other way. Whoops, that didn't go so well. I'll do it again. There we go. Now, ideally, these two obviously don't have exactly the same mass, okay? Because if you look very carefully, after the collision, this one does still keep moving a tiny, tiny bit, okay? If this were a perfectly elastic collision and they both had exactly the same mass, then <clears throat> we'd start off with one trolley coming in to another trolley at rest, and then after the collision, uh, the initial, the first trolley would then be at rest, and the second trolley would be moving off um, at the same speed that the initial one came in. So, I want you to take a look at this situation and answer the same question as before. Um, when the spring is at its most compressed, how much energy is stored in it in this situation? Um, now, I'm not going to go through the answer to this uh, in this video. So you will have to work that out, do your best to work that out, and we'll go through that next lesson.